So how to start using R by installing it. So let's go to browser, type download R. We will be uh, navigating through our project for statistical computing. R is hosted at the comprehensive R archive network. So we can click there, download friend. Here are some mirrors. Uh, we will select zero cloud. So we will be automatically redirected to, uh, to the nearby server. So download is faster. Then select the link which corresponds to the system you are using. For example, Linux, Mac, or Windows. I'm using Windows here. And then click base to install R for the first time. The current version is 4.02 for Windows. Let's click that and save file. Now, it depends how your browser works. We'll open the file and let it run the installation. Language of preference, in this case, English. Agree with the general public license. And then the rest is just the default, basically. Agree next, 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 next. Uh, let's create a shortcut just for a change. Next. So R is a language, and we can access it in many different ways when we have it in our computer. First, it can be accessed through some graphical user interface, and also it can be accessed, for example, on a common prompt. My graphical user interface is the most popular option in this case. Um, so installation is finished. Now we have the R shortcuts here. So let's open. This is the simple graphical user interface that comes with base R, with the static R. And it has the R console and we can file, we can uh, start a new file or R script, so called. But um, here it is, we already can use R. And we can try something simple, for example, you know, one, uh, one plus five, and, and it calculates it. So we can check it. We can take a square root. SQRT is the function for square root. Square root of nine. And it cal calculates it correctly. So we can try something more complicated and Let's do square root of, uh, for example, 200. It's something that we cannot calculate ourselves, but we can uh, run a calculator. And there is square root. So we want square root of uh, 200, and we see that the results match. So R uh, has the option of showing a certain number of digits. Of course, it calculates more than five. It's just the option is to show five, in this case, in the answer, in the output. So this is a simple interface, but we won't be using this often. There are many other options, and one of the most popular is RStudio. So RStudio is just an editor. It offers you to use the R which you installed, again, the language. Nothing happens with the language. You already, you already have the language on your computer. We will just now go and install an editor. Sorry, I already have it here, but um, what we need to do is go to RStudio, download. And there will be a page where we can select the version for RStudio. We need to select RStudio desktop free version. And here it automatically detects that I'm using Windows. So download RStudio 
save file. I already have RStudio installed, but when you open it for the first time, it will look something like this. So you will see your console, so you can do your computation and get the answer here, 11. Uh, and there will be some other tabs that we will describe in the next video. Thanks for watching. My name is Slava. This video is part of our programming course. Like and subscribe if you like more videos like this.